Well, the first time it happened, it was pretty devastating and he was still sleeping and I woke him up. I said, what was that? And I was crying. And he said, what are you talking about? There were a no. lot of tears, tears with both, both of us. But he fun. always felt so bad after that because he didn't, he doesn't remember. These are all triggered by dreams. So Alan has REM sleep behavior disorder, which is mainly dream enactment. We lose that normal paralysis that should occur during REM sleep and we start acting out our dreams. So instead of not lying nice and still, we're thrashing and punching and kicking. It was horrible. I said, you just punched me. I feel pretty bad because, you know, that's not who I am. This is common. This is 50,000 people in the state of Minnesota. 80 million people worldwide have REM sleep behavior disorder. It was discovered by University of Minnesota physicians back in the 1980s. And so we've been studying this condition for a very long period of time. It is extremely distressing for patients and partners that they've been sleeping next to calmly for decades. And now all of a sudden they're thrashing, punching and kicking. And it can be terrifying to patients and bed partners alike. As time went on, I couldn't sleep with him. I was too scared. So I had to, I, I got a separate bed. It was tough, but it also pushes you to try to get help too. Sleep is just inherently fascinating. It's a third of our lives. We're unconscious for it, so it must serve some incredibly important purposes. And it does. When done properly, sleep is when you lose the noise that is inside your brain and you amplify the signal. So the things that are important for you and healthy for you to remember and emphasize, you get more of those when you're sleeping well. On the other hand, the anxieties, the life stresses and pressures, when we're not sleeping well, those get augmented. So sleep is incredibly important for just good old brain health. Most common reason why people are struggling to sleep is they just have insomnia. They go to bed, the magic won't happen. They can't fall asleep. Other individuals have sleep disorder breathing or sleep apnea where they can't breathe properly at night. Other individuals like Alan will have some bizarre behavior happening at night, sleepwalking, dream enactment behaviors. The basis of all of this is that the quality of sleep is life-changing, enriching life in its quality and dissipating life in its absence. We saw Alan at the M Health Fairview Sleep Center in Dinah, and we talked about Alan's trouble with dream enactment. It didn't take much in that sleep study that he recognized that there was an issue. It can be a very serious condition, but it is a identifiable and treatable condition. 90% of people with REM sleep behavior disorder do extremely well with therapies. I don't want to take any medication at all, you know, so I never really wanted to do it. But then we talked and he, he worked me through it and I started taking some medication and, it, and, and the idea how it works, I finally did do it and it was good that I did. We have a couple funny incidents where he was, he dreams. We, we need to lighten it up a little bit, you think? Yeah, just a couple. <laughs> he thought he was... Well, he knows, you know, Starsky and Hutch. And that's what I did. I was dreaming that that was me. I was in bed with him too. And I was, I was, I was running. I was just slide across the hood, you know. But really, I ended up jumping out of bed on the floor. And Hardwood floors we have. <laughs> I have met uh, Spider-Man and Batman and Superman before because they've hurt themselves leaping out of bed. We're just thankful that Dr. Howell was here. Dr. Howell and others are performing an incredibly important task for medicine and for the people that benefit from medicine. I do think that I get better sleep and I do think that my life is better from when that all began. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yes. I do. Yeah. I do.